Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab... Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. 
Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. I've never seen so many missing per- I could go for a burger now. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me- What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good, good. Best portrait ever.
clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're... Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Oh. Hi, Max. Okay. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely no. even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps.
Keep. Do you understand English? Get lost. No. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. See if this works. Keep walking, hippie. Victoria is not getting the hint. Sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. No. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Oh, dude. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Uh, hey. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. Sweet. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. 
You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. Cartier, Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the gr Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the space. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Daniel has so much talent. I am so addicted to this site. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their you best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. 
How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was you sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why like would Dana go after friend. your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria Leave me alone, did. Max. Get a clue. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. No need to go there now. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Mac. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet, why? I'm flattered. Uh, of course. Thanks. I luck. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? She saw the sext. And. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk.
Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Uh, Max? That's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into- Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... Was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. <laughs>